Okay, in this video, I'm gonna talk about why Facebook and Google Pixels are so important. Coming right up. Hi, this is John Lee. If this is the first time you come across me, my channel is all about marketing strategies, starting businesses, and creating multiple streams of income. If you don't wanna miss out on all the new content I upload every day, then hit the subscribe button, turn on bell notifications so you don't miss out on all the new content. So the first reason why Facebook pixels and Google pixels are so important is because you want to track the conversions. Now, I see a lot of people when they start a business, I ask them, hey, how much is your marketing budget? And they say, I don't have one. I say, why not? They say, well, I don't think spending money makes money. And I say, well, the, the reason why people don't spend money on marketing, look, if you don't spend money on marketing, your business can't grow, right? Which means if you want to spend money on marketing, you have to know what's the thing that's working the most. Because let, let's say, for example, for every 10,000 you spend, you can make about 20,000. You're going to keep spending 10,000 all the time, right? So the goal here is to track the conversions. The reason why people don't grow their businesses is because they're not using pixels. They're not, they're not using it to track what's working, what's not working. Ultimately, let's say, for example, right now you have a thousand conversions every single month. And that means it's going to, let, let's say it's worth 10,000 to you then we want to track that by using the conversion and we can ex extrapolate what we're going to be earning. So if I put in 20,000 or 30,000, then you can see how that works. So tracking the conversions is really important. The second reason why it's so important to use Facebook pixels and Google pixels is to make sure you're optimizing for conversion. So what does that really mean? Well, that means that let's say that there are two types of methodologies when we're marketing online, right? The first one is we can put out our advertising and then we can optimize ourselves, or we can actually have the computer machine learning do that for us. So yes, the machines can actually optimize our campaigns for us because they'll know based on what content you put out, based on what people click, based on what people do. You can actually pay what we call pay for per conversion. So let's say for example, you're spending, I don't know, a thousand dollars a day, right? It will actually track that conversion for you, meaning we don't have to optimize it ourselves because normally typically what what people do is they'll go into their own campaigns um, and then they'll start monetizing themselves right meaning they'll start turning off ads they'll start you know um, looking at what what's working what's not working and ultimately they'll just do it manually whereas a machine if you if you if you're using the pixels you can say hey by the way I'm going to spend this much money in this particular country, in this particular area. I want you to spend the money for me and I want you to market for me, right? I, I want you to do all the marketing for me and I want you to, uh, I, and I only want to pay once I get a conversion. How cool is that? So without pixels, you cannot do that, right? So make sure you're using um, that for conversion optimization. Okay, the third reason why you must use Google and Facebook pixels is for something called what we call custom audiences. So what is a custom audience? A custom audience is literally, it's a specialized audience. Meaning, let's say for example, I have two products. Let's say I've got a red pen and a blue pen, right? And I only wanna focus on the people who hit the red pen. So, but let's say the person who hits the red pen doesn't buy. So what do I wanna do? I wanna recontact these people and remarket them to say, hey, by the way, you didn't buy my, um, my red pen. Now you can buy it. I want to know how many people hit that site. So it creates an audience for me. It basically tags everybody who hit that site and say, hey, by the way, these people, you had 100 people that hit the site who want to buy a red pen, but they didn't buy it. So you can market to them again. So custom audiences are really powerful because it's already kind of like filtered. It's like what, a lot of times when we do with marketing, marketing is really about retargeting. Marketing is targeting. And so what we want to do is we want to use the marketing and machine learning and the pixels to actually break down the audiences for us automatically so we're not having to go and do it ourselves, right? So it makes our job easier to market, but we've got to set this up right. And by using pixels, we're able to now customize our audiences to specifically what they want, right? So really, really powerful uh, using custom audiences. Okay, the fourth reason why you must use Facebook pixels and the importance of using Facebook and Google pixels is to actually use um, look-alike audiences. So what is a look-alike audience? A look-alike audience is, let's say for example, I, I'm a CEO of a company, right? I'm an entrepreneur, uh, I run events, uh, I run technology, um, I, you know, speak about, I'm a public speaker. So that's my profile, okay? 
So what Facebook and Google can do, based on all the people that hit a specific website, they can actually find you more people like you. So let's say, for example, you have a lot of clients already. You can take that list of clients that you already have, you can upload it into the social media platforms, and then you can have that social media platform find all your new customers for you. It's actually quite amazing, because you may find, like I find, for example, a lot of people who attend my training programs are either business owners, they're entrepreneurs, they're like mid-level management. Uh, some of them are, you know, a lot. I get a lot of IT professionals that come as well. And I just tend to have a lot more of those people. The age range is between 25 to 45 years old. So social media knows that. And so what happens is they go out and they find all these people for me uh, without me having to do the work. So what happens is they're creating that lookalike audience. So now I can take that audience and, and now I can make a post to them and only show it to them. So let's say, let's say you're doing yoga in, in, in London, for example, you, let's say you have a yoga studio, right? It will find all the women, for example, let's say you just, let's say 90% of, of your audience is women, it will find all the lookalike audiences to do with that. And then it will laser target them. And then what you can do is make a post and then if they're showing it to the right people, they're more likely to buy that product. So this is why it's so, so important. Okay, and the last part, the, the last reason why you need to use um, you know, Facebook pixels and Google pixels is because of audience insight. So what is an audience insight? Audience insight is basically the insights of your audience. Who are they? How old are they? Where they're from? Where, you know, where the most people come from? Like what's the main topics they type in to find you? So these are all things that you want to start thinking about because you don't actually know, for example, a lot of people that like, follow me now are, are you know, from Southeast Asia. I get a lot of people from Singapore, a lot of people from uh, Malaysia, a lot of people from India, a lot of people from India should follow me. So that means I want to create content tailored for them. So for example, you know, in, in Singapore, when lockdown happened in UK, it's called lockdown, but in Singapore, it's called circuit breaker. So when I'm creating content for my audience, you know, I'll say something, hey guys, you know, I know a lot of you are in circuit breaker right now, which is basically lockdown, right? So they understand the language. So when you understand the language and the lingo, you start building more rapport with your audience because then they go, oh wow, this person really understands my market. So you, you, you've got to start focusing on audience insights because that will give you a taster of what can work, what doesn't work. So for example, when I'm doing a lot of stuff with uh, Dubai, I have a lot of followers from the UAE as well. So, you know, I know that some things that they can do, sometimes they need licenses to things. Sometimes, you know, they're a little bit, you know, like with the merchant accounts, a little bit funny because you, you, they have to have certain ways to collect money and push it through different regulations. So this is why it's so important to understand your audience insights because you can tailor the marketing for them. So for example, my business partner, Vincent Wong, he teaches, um, he does a lot of training on real estate. So let's say for example, right now, I go into audience insights and most of his audience uh, over the age of 30 to about 55. So when he's creating content for someone who's over the age of 55, his, his content's gonna be different. So it's gonna say, hey, you know, if you're over the age of 50 right now and you've got a lot of equity in your property, then there's something you can do where you can do equity release, where you can take all the equity from your property and reinvest that money. So now you're creating content specific to that audience. And when you're able to do this, by having those pixels, it will give you the audience insights on how to market to them. This is what happened with the whole Brexit thing. Brexit happened because, you know, they took all the data from all these social media platforms and, you know, basically, in fact, one of the biggest um, searches was after Brexit happens, so what is Brexit? So a lot of people didn't even know, but they were able to target people who were gonna vote to leave versus stay. And that's exactly what happened with the whole, you know, uh, US elections as well. So, you know, who became president, you know, they, they use a lot of these marketing strategies because they knew that there was all these people that were going to vote for this person and all the people that would not vote for this person. And they, they could run fake news to these people to, you know, make them not vote for this other person, you see? So this is why audience insights, you know, <laughs> it's a difference between, you know, you becoming the president or, you know, your, your company becoming very wealthy or understanding how to market to your your audience and when you do that guess what happens you start to earn a lot more you start you start to add more value to your audience and ultimately creating a business that is successful so i really hope that you got a lot of value from this again using facebook pixels and google pixels is a must if you're running traffic 
and, and, and you're spending money marketing, you're not running that, you're wasting a lot of money. So make sure you do use that. Um, by the way, if any, any of you are interested to in learn how to do this specifically in a lot more detail, I do run a three day bootcamp. If you're interested, just type in, uh, you know, yes below or just type in interested below. One of my team will come in and um, have a conversation with you to let you know more details. And um, other than that, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to miss out, if you don't want to miss out on all the new videos, hit the subscribe button, turn on bell notifications. So you don't miss out on all the new content I'll be filming every single day. And I'll link some videos here and here. I'll put a subscribe button over here. Other than that, this is John Lee, the author of Business Hack. I'll see you next video. Bye for now.